being your year, last year was kind of your mm. year you get injured. You got to refocus. Of course, you, had a, you came back at the end of the year and did great. But uh, what are you going through mentally, individually, getting ready for this year with a disappointment? Don't don't take anything for granted. It's kind of one of those injuries that make you kind of cherish the game more as far as like practice. You want to be your best every day in practice. Every, every time you step on the field, you want to show that you belong out there. So it, it really kind of humbled you, made you don't think ahead of time, basically. Does it make you mentally stronger? Because there's days you're, I'm sure, doing rehab and only one or two guys are around and you're seeing mm -hmm. else and you kind of feel like an outsider a little bit, maybe. Yeah, last year it was a lot of times where I'll be working out and stuff like that, and I'll see them practicing. I'm like, man, I gotta get back out there. Like, I gotta hurry up and get back out. There. Like, you don't. It feels like you're isolated, so it's kind of like it's your time to really cope with yourself and kind of get to know yourself more and know what you want. So it, it definitely got me mentally stronger. What do you see from teammates like Anthony Jennings and Christian Miller about their game? Um, well, those guys, they definitely helped. As far as when I came in as a young guy, they definitely helped me develop. As far as Anthony, I love his mentality as a football player. You know what I'm saying? He's a very physical guy, you know what I'm saying, run stopper, and he can pass where he's got quick twitch. So he's a great athlete, and a lot of people don't know his mentality about how he goes about the game. I love the way he plays, he, and he kind of inspired me to, like, play hard and stuff like that. And Christian, he's always been a guy that helped me learn to play, stuff like that. And, he knows the defense so well. He can, you know, see. He just does it so smoothly. So it, both of them, they kind of help me out a lot. What can we expect from this D? You think a lot of turnover and everything. New guys coming in the secondary. I know they're not here yet. But mm -hmm. what, what, what do you think? Um, I feel like we we expect a real fast defense, athletic defense. And I feel like we ha we have a defense that can really fly to the ball and create a lot of turnovers with the guys we have. We got a lot of playmakers on the field and a lot of guys that really have a name for themselves, but are, re are really hungry to make a name for themselves. Honestly, is it kind of cool your position, guys, the coordinator now? Is that is that? Yeah, it, it's a it's different, but I mean it's it's also real comfortable knowing that okay, he's the signal caller now. We know what he's you know what I'm saying the stuff that he likes to call. You know what I'm saying we so we. It's just getting used to him being the D coordinator and knowing that he's right in our room and we can ask our D coordinator questions at will. What is your guys' relationship like, you and Todd? Oh, Todd, Todd's like a little, he's like an uncle to me. He, he real cool with my family and stuff like that. He recruited me, so just seeing him be the defensive coordinator, my mom was excited. It's just, it was crazy. It was, it was a lot of excitement. I mean, a lot of intensity from him every single day. Yeah, he, sometimes he get too excited though. He, he'll call some stuff way off the wall so he like we went through a meeting he kind of making different signals now just because he know he might make up a signal out of nowhere so it's it's funny just dealing with him on the field i remember his first day he uh he was doing defensive coordinator stuff while Pruitt was away he was kind of like bear with me you guys like help me help you <laughs> kind of because he was real excited so it was just different feeling his energy as a d coordinator